So we've talked about the marketing mix before, and we talk about it being the four P's, product, price, place, and promotion. All right. In the previous unit, we talked about product, you know, what you're going to make, what it's going to look like, what it's going to be. But those are all kind of things that fall under the, the P, the product P. Okay, so for this unit, we're going to talk about place. And as you can see right here, it talks about distribution channels, coverage, transport, inventory. And those are things that we're going to talk about when we start talking about place and a lot about where we're going to put our product. Okay. So talk about place. Place in the marketing mix refers to the channel or the route through which goods move from the source to the final user. So when we talk about source, we're talking about the producer. Who's the one making the goods? And we talk about to the final user. For most places and most times, that's going to be the consumer, the person that consumes or uses the product. All right. Now, we did talk about that there are some things that are producer goods and producer services where they're going to use that good to make something else for the final customer. So it might not always be to the final user. Right? It might be going to a producer, they're going to make something, and then they're going to put it out. Right, So their place, the producer's place that they're using the producer good for, their place might be a little bit different than the person that's making the raw materials. And as we move forward, place, in other words, it is how your product is bought and where it is bought. And that's a big thing, okay? How is your product bought? Is it bought online? Do you only, do you only have an online store? Uh, where is it bought? And we'll talk about making sure that you put your product in the right place, in the right store, where people are going to be looking for it. Uh, it place. The right place means greater chances of sales over a longer period of time. And that's true. If you put your product someplace where people aren't going to be looking for it, then you're probably not going to sell it as much. All right. You want to put it where in a place where people are going to be looking for it. And the next one that we see here, where do buyers look for your product or service? Uh, if we're talking about we're selling tires, right? People aren't going to go to a restaurant to look to buy your tires. OK, uh, people aren't going to go to an electronic store like Best Buy, for instance, if they're looking to buy tires for their car. You're going to go to an automobile place and vice versa. You're not going to go to a discount tire and ask them about buying a T-shirt. OK, those aren't things that they sell. That's not a place where those products are going to be at. So you've got to make sure that you're putting your product where people are going to be looking for it. Hence the place. Where do buyers look for your product or service? That's the big thing. Right? If we're not putting it where they're going to be looking for it, they're probably not going to find it. So we want to try and put our product in front of as many eyes and as many potential customers as we can possibly find. Uh, so here, if they look in a store, what kind? Well, what kind of store are they looking for? In the previous example we talked about, people aren't going to discount tire looking for a computer. They're not going to discount tire to try and buy shoes unless they want shoes for their car. That would be tires. So that's where they would go for something like that. As we continue, uh, a specialist boutique or a supermarket or both. So we talk about a specialist boutique and we've talked about fancy brands like our Versace and our Louis Vuitton and places like that that have their own store. So they're not going to another store to look for Louis Vuitton. You go to the Louis Vuitton store because that's the place where it's at. Uh, we talk about we, we can look at other things like a specialist boutique, maybe a, a women's shop that has special things. Those aren't going to be in a traditional store. So they have, you know, maybe special items or unique items that are not everywhere. All right. So those items that we can't find everywhere might be in a special place. Uh, we go to a supermarket traditionally to buy food. Right. That's what we're looking for there. Uh, as we continue, maybe your product is only sold online. And direct via catalog. So when I was younger, we had catalogs. You would get a catalog in the mail. It was a magazine with a bunch of pictures. And that's how you would order stuff because we didn't, frankly, we didn't have the internet. So that was a big way that people used to buy things. I can remember being a kid and you get the, the catalog around Christmas time and you start circling the things that you want. Um, and, and that was a big part. A lot of the folks that are my age and older probably did things like that. We used to get a catalog and search through it. Um, and that's not a big thing anymore because not a lot of people are looking through a catalog to find stuff. We just go online to your website where we can find everything. And that's how the Internet has really changed things because everyone can have a storefront now online where you can sell your product or if you have a service, you can sell your service. So to finish up, we talk about place and place is very important because you have to put your product where people are going to see it. Right? If, if the right customers aren't seeing it, then they're not going to be buying your product. So place, very, very, very important.